martial art, part dance, capoeira is a reflection of Salvador. Something truly Brazilian, but whose soul is very much from Africa. Its origins date back some 400 years when Afro-Brazilian slaves developed it as a form of self-defense. When it was banned by their owners, slaves disguised it within an acrobatic dance. It was still prohibited in 1920, but 10 years later, the first academy was established in Salvador, which is now considered Capoeira's home. It developed here in Salvador through these academies where capoeira was primarily taught as a defensive martial art. It developed into this great spectacle and that's why people became interested in it, copying it and taking it to Europe and all over the world. Capoeira is now part of our national heritage. It's combat, it's an art and it encompasses a whole range of fighting styles. Music is an integral part of any capoeira display and the berimbau is the most iconic instrument. Originally used to alert a fighter to approaching danger, today the rhythms determine the style of the fight. This is the sort of rhythm where the capoeirista will spend more time with his hands on the ground. It's the first type of capoeira, but there are hundreds of rhythms. Every master has his own rhythm. There are rhythms for contact fighting, rhythms for acrobatics, and there are rhythms for a more streetwise capoeira. And in the past, there were rhythms devised to tell you when the police were arriving, the cavalry beat, like this. Capoeira is very important in Brazil. It's part of our cultural identity, and foreign people value it a lot more now. I think Brazilians need to be more aware of the value of capoeira too. There are still some prejudice towards it because it used to be considered a crime. But on the whole, people have more knowledge of it and are definitely valuing it a lot more.